All right, Shalom. I want to start this video off by saying, Call Halalim, La Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Raka Kudash, double honors to the elder apostles of Great Millstone. Shalom to all the Akim that are in this truth and sincerity. And I want to do this video on, on the chariots of Israel, which, which this world ignorantly calls UFOs. But in the scriptures, they're known as the chariots of Israel. And I'm going to go into the, uh, the Holy Bible. Through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Ashai, Bashim And I'm going to break down how the chariots of Israel, which are the so-called UFOs, like I said, how they're coming back to basically, uh, basically to, des to destroy America, which is Babylon the Great in the scriptures, as well as the thermonuclear, uh, thermonuclear ICBMs. Because uh, like it says, in, which I'm going to get, the Lord is going to come with fire. That fire, not only is it that the thermonuclear missiles, but it's also the chariots of Israel because those chariots, they can shoot out fire. And I'm going to get that in the scriptures. But first, I'm going to start out with this scripture in the book of Romans, chapter 13, at verse 11. It says, and that knowing the time that now it is high time to awake out of sleep, for now is our salvation nearer than when we believe. So I got that scripture. I got that uh, scripture because now is the time that the Lord is revealing this truth. On, a, on the highest level ever. Now, now the Lord is lifting up. He's lift, lifting up this. Uh, he's exalting uh, his name on the earth again, because in the ancient world, in the ancient world, after uh, after the Lord destroyed Egypt, the whole world uh, knew knew and feared the names of Yahweh. And this time, the Lord is doing is going to do that same thing again, but on an even higher level than he ever did. But the point is that the Lord, that the Lord is, uh, the point is that the Lord is bringing this truth out on a high level. And uh, next scripture I'm going to get, Revelation chapter one. Revelation chapter one, at verse seven. It says, "Behold, he cometh with clouds, and every eye shall see him, and they also which pierced him, and all kindreds of the earth shall well because of him." Even so, Sawab. Now, now when it says he, that's speaking about our Lord, Yahweh Shai, who the world ignorantly calls uh, Jesus. His name, that's not his name. His name is Yahweh Shai in the ancient Hebrew, in the ancient Paleo Hebrew. But yeah, it says, it says, uh, every eye shall see him. Every eye shall see Yahweh Shai when he comes back. Every eye, even, even the ones who pierce him, those, uh, those Roman, those Roman uh, devils that, that pierced our Lord Yahweh Shai when, when he was up on the cross. Because they, they pierced him when they nailed him to the cross and, and they pierced him after that with the spear. They, pier they pierced his side. So even, even those bastards are going to see him. They're going to come back in, in the reincarnation and they're going to remember, the Lord's going to allow them to remember that they were the ones that pierced him and they're going to see him too. And all kindred of the earth shall well because of him. So all kindreds of the earth, all these different nations, when they see Yahweh Shai coming with his army, because Yahweh Shai, like it says in the uh, second Ezra, the 13th chapter, he's gonna come in, in a chariot that's as big, this, this is bigger than a mountain. And they show you that in uh, movies like uh, Independence Day. Like the, the old uh, Independence Day, they show how, how uh, Yahweh Shai, it was basically that movie was about Yahweh Shai and the angels coming back. Esau tries to uh, tries to like uh, paint the narrative in his in his media that that there's there's uh, little green men from Mars and it was uh, so-called UFOs. Esau is a devil though, man. The word devil means deceiver. Those are those are the vehicles of the, of the angels, man. Those are heavenly uh, vehicles that, that the vehicles that the angels uh, get around in. But when when they uh, when the Howard Shot comes, he's gonna come in a, in a giant uh, fathership, man. And a giant fathership with the armies, with the armies of heaven, and he, and that's the same way that he left. Because uh, next scripture I'm going to get uh, goes into it. Next scripture I'm going to get is this is the book of Acts, 
chapter 1 and verse 9. It says, And when he had spoken these things, while they beheld, he was taken up, and a cloud received him out of their sight. Now, that's not talking about an actual cloud, man. That's, that's speaking about a chariot. And there's uh, precepts to back that up. Like going going back to um, going back to, to the Old Testament, there's, there's uh, precepts to back that up. But I, I'm going to read on. In verse 10, it says, And while they looked steadfastly toward heaven, as he went up, behold, Two men stood by him in white apparel, which which also said, and those those two men, those weren't just regular men. Th those were angels, angels of Yahweh, Yahweh Shai. Those are the angels, man. Those weren't just regular men uh, standing there. And the angels are dark skinned, by the way. They're, they're dark skinned men with, with beards. They're they're not uh they're not little uh little Edomite babies, man. They're they're big. Big, very dark-skinned men with, with uh, serious faces. And the angels don't play around, man. But reading on, it says, it says, uh, verse 11, which also said, ye men of Galilee, why stand ye gazing up into heaven? The same Yahawashai, which is taken up from you into heaven, shall so come in like manner as ye have seen him go into heaven. So the same way Yahawashai was taken up into that, that cloud, which is a chariot, if you have understanding. Like it says in Psalms 104, uh, which uh, I forget which, which verse, but it says in Psalms 104. As a matter of fact, let me get that because that's a precept that proves that the clouds, are, when it's speaking about a cloud right there, it's speaking about a chariot. Let me get that real quick. This is the book of Psalms. Chapter 104. In verse 2, it says, Who covers thyself with light as with a garment, who stretches out the heavens like a curtain, who lays the beams of his chambers in the waters, who maketh the clouds his chariots, who walketh upon the wings of the wind. So it says, Who maketh the clouds his chariots. That, and this is speaking about the Heavenly Father, Yahweh. So when it speaks about uh, that cloud that took Yahweh Shai up in Acts chapter 1 and verse 11, that's, that cloud was speaking about a chariot. And it says, and it says, uh, this same Yahweh Shai which is taken up from you and in, into heaven shall so come in like manner. So Yahweh Shai is coming back the same way he left, man, and it's so-called UFO. And in the biggest one that there is, man, the biggest chariot that there is. That's how Yahweh Shai is coming back. And he's not coming back uh, to bring peace on earth, man. He's coming, to back, he's coming back to bring fire and judgment on the wicked. And I'm going to get that in the next scripture. This is the book of Isaiah. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 66. And verse 15. It says, For behold, the Lord, Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai, will come with fire and with his chariots like a whirlwind. So that's how Yahweh Shai is coming back, man, with fire and his chariots like a whirlwind. And then uh, reading on, it says, To render his anger with fury and his rebuke with flames of fire. So the Lord's not coming back. And in a good mood, man. He's coming back with, with, with uh, fury and fire, man, and anger. Verse 16, it says, For be, for by fire and by his sword will Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai plead with all flesh, and the slain of the Lord shall be many. So the Lord's coming back to kill a lot of people, man, because this world is wicked, man. This this world is wicked. Like it says in, uh, I, I believe that this uh, either first or second John, it says, The whole world lieth in wickedness. So the Lord's coming back to judge this world, man. And when I say world, I mean Esau's, Esau's whole rulership on this planet, man. The Lord's coming back to judge and to put down to put down all, all authority from these devils, man. The Lord's not coming back playing games, man. He's coming back for vengeance. Because of what you what you devils are uh, all, all the uh, the wickedness that you devil has the devils have been doing, man. 
for centuries. The Lord's coming back. The Lord ain't forgot anything that you devils did, man. Everything you devils do, the Lord has written down. Uh, but next scripture I'm going to get. Next scripture I'm going to get on the chariots. Is the book of. This is Zechariah chapter 5 verse 1. Then I turned and lifted up my eyes and looked and beheld and behold a flying row. That flying row is speaking about a chariot. Because back then there wasn't any type of uh, airplanes or vehicles back then in the ancient world. So Zechariah didn't see no airplane. He didn't see he didn't see nothing like that. He saw a chariot, man. It was, it was shaped like a row. Verse 2. And he said unto me, What seest thou? I answered, I see a flying row. The length thereof is 20 cubits, and the, bre the breadth thereof 10 cubits. So it was it was a, a pretty big chariot. Like it wasn't that big, but it was pretty big. In verse 3, it uh, it says, Then said he unto me, This is a curse that goeth forth over the face of the whole earth. For everyone that stealeth shall be cut off as on this side according to it, and everyone that swerved shall be cut off, shall be cut off as on that side according to it. So who's the biggest thief on the planet Earth right now? You so-called white people, you self-proclaimed white people, man. You damn devils. You're the, you're the biggest thief. You stole America from the so-called North American Indians, which is the tribe of Gad of the nation of Israel. You devils, you do nothing but steal and lie and kill because that, that's what you devils do, man. That's the spirit of, of, of you devils, man. So the, the Lord is coming back with them chariots and them chariots are, are a curse to you devils, man, because you're going to be cut off for stealing and for swearing because you devils, uh, you swear falsely you, you swear falsely by the, by the word of the Lord, man. Because in, in the, um, the damn, uh, the court system, you devils be swearing on the Bible. And that, that's against the Bible. So you devils are going to be cut off for that, man. Like it says in this scripture. And I'm, this is all out of the scriptures, man. This is all out of the scriptures. So you can't say, oh, oh we made this up, man. This, this, this is uh, the word of Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai. But reading on. It says, verse four, I will bring it forth, save the Yahweh of hosts, and it shall render, and it shall uh, enter into the house of the thief. And the house of the thief is uh, America, because, like I said, you Edomites, you stole this country from the tribe of Gad. So you, this is the house of the thief, man. This used to be a beautiful, uh, a beautiful place until you devils uh, uh, stole it. For you, you devils are uh, wickedly. Stole it from from the uh, the tribe of Gad. You devil's gonna pay for that, man. But uh, reading on, it says, "It shall enter into the house of the thief, and into the house of him that swore falsely by my name." And that's what I just said. Esau swears falsely by the name because he swears in on on the word of the Lord. And then uh, reading on, it says, "And it shall remain in the midst of his house, and it shall consume it with." The timber thereof and the stones thereof. So not only is the Lord going to bring fire with those those thermonuclear ICBMs, but he's going to bring fire by them chariots, man. Because them chariots are, are made out of pure energy, man. And they could use that, that energy to, to shoot to, to shoot uh, projectiles. Like it shows you in movies like uh, War of the Worlds. War of the Worlds. That, that's just one example. I, I that, that movie that, that just came out... Uh, uh, that new Avengers movie that they, they show that man, uh, the the ship that Thanos was in, it was shooting fire out of it, man. It was shooting um blast of, of pure energy. So th these these Edomite directors, they don't put that in the movies for no reason, man, because these devils know, man. These devils know the scriptures. They get all their ideas from the scriptures, man. These devils um know the scriptures, man. That's why the scripture says uh, Esau is wiser than Daniel, man. Because these, these devils, they know the scriptures. They, they know that how the chariots uh, can shoot energy out, can shoot fire. So they know that. And that's how the Lord's coming back to judge you, you damn, you damn Edomites, man. That's why you devils are going to be cut off, according to the scriptures. And and there's a, there's an innumerable amount of chariots, man. There's a, there's an innumerable amount of chariots. You can't, number, you can't number how many chariots there are, man. That's how many. 
And I'm going to get that in this next scripture. Isaiah chapter 68. Chapter 68 and verse 17. It says, The chariots of Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai are 20,000, even thousands of angels. The Lord Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai is among them, as in Sinai, in the holy place. So the Lord, his chariots are, are, are 20,000, man. Thousands and thousands of angels, man. And the Lord is among all of them. The Spirit of the Lord is in every single angel, man. The Spirit of the Lord is with all the angels and all the chariots, man. So the angels are in perfect, uh, they're in perfect sync with, the, with Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. They carry out the will of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Those are, um, those are spiritual vehicles, man. Like it says in, uh, you can read about that in Ezekiel, the first chapter. Those aren't, uh, carnal vehicles like Esau's ships. Like like Esau's uh, ships that he has, the, the ships that Esau has, man, those are uh, physical. The, like like uh, certain maneuvers that they do, that they could uh, it could cause the 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 uh, their ship to crash. I'm speaking on, on Esau's uh, on Esau's uh, weak technology because it's it's weak compared to the technology of Yahweh Why Yahweh Shai. Esau's technology ain't shit compared it to Yahweh Why Yahweh Shai, man. But the chariots are, are spiritual. A chariot can't crash. A chariot can't, can't be hit, man. You, them chariots are untouchable, man. You can't touch a chariot because those are spiritual vehicles. And uh, this next scripture I'm going to get because I'm speaking on how you, you can't touch the chariots, man. Esau, Esau uh, is so proud, he thinks he's going to be able to fight against Yahweh Shai and the angels when they return. And and uh, uh, this is Revelation chapter 12. This is Revelation chapter 12 and verse 7. And there was war in heaven. Michael and his angels fought against the dragons, and the dragon fought and his angel. So that's speaking about when Yahweh Shai returns, these damn devils, they have weapons in, in, uh, in the heavens. And when I say that, they have what they have uh, satellites that are equipped with, with weapons. That's what that whole uh, Star Wars program is about. That's why Trump is talking about putting um, the military in, in the heavens. These devils have been doing that, man, for, for years. Probably going back to the uh, the seventies. These devils been putting weapons in the heavens because they think they know your house is coming back. These international bankers, these uh, Rothschilds, uh, the Rockefellers, the Oppenheimers. All, all these uh, elite bacon families, which are which are the, the Edomites, they're the uh, they're the basically the, the elites of Esau. They know Yahweh Shai's coming back, man. They they understand that, and these devils think they're actually going to be able to fight against Yahweh Shai with their uh, with their weak technology, with their primitive technology. They think they're actually going to be able to fight against Yahweh Shai, man. But yeah, uh, reading on it says. It says, and prevail not. So there was a war in heaven, but these devils, they're not going to prevail, man. They prevail not. They're going to uh, fail miserably. It's, it's going to be like an uh, uh, ant trying to fight trying to fight uh, Mike Tyson, man. <laughs> that, 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 that's, that's really an accurate analogy, man. Uh, these devils trying to fight Yahweh Shine the angels is like an ant trying to fight Mike Tyson. Like, <laughs> you, you devils are just going to get stomped out, man. Uh, but reading on, it says neither was there a place found anymore in heaven because you, you devils, you're, you're gonna be, uh, you're gonna be uh, totally annihilated, totally neutralized, man. So it's gonna be like you devils weren't weren't even uh, in the in the heavens. It's gonna be like you devils didn't even exist because the Lord's just gonna neutralize you devils, man. Completely annihilate you devils. But reading on, it says uh, neither was there a place found anymore in heaven, and there was. And, and the great dragon was cast out That old serpent called the devil And Satan was deceived with the whole world He was cast out into the earth And his angels were cast out with him So that's not speaking about uh, the spiritual demon Satan That's speaking about you, you red Hebrew Edomites You devils are going to be cast out of heaven Because when Yahweh Shai uh, When Yahweh Shai uh, Basically hits you devils With that, that laser beam You devils ain't going to be in heaven no more You, you, you devils are going to fall you, you devils are going to be turned into ash and you're gonna fall down back down to the earth. That's what that's that's what that's speaking about. If you have understanding, uh, you, you you will see that. But uh, into 
just just to bring the balance the lord is not only coming to to destroy he's coming to he's coming to to save too the elect he's going to use those chariots to save the elect and i'm going to end it off with this scripture in matthew chapter 24 Matthew chapter 24, starting at verse 30, it says, And then shall appear the sign of the Son of Man in heaven, and then shall all the tribes of the earth mourn, and they shall see the Son of Man coming in the clouds of heaven with power and great glory. So uh, this is saying the same thing that said in Revelation chapter, uh, chapter 1, verse 7. All, all tribes of the earth are going to mourn because of Yahweh Shai, because these, these heathens... These healings, uh, they get scared when they see the chariots, man. They get they get scared when they when they be seeing the, the chariots. So these devils are these devils, these Edomites and these other nations are all gonna mourn when they see Yahweh Shai and the chariots, man. They're gonna be super afraid. Uh, and then reading on, verse 31, and then and, and he shall send his angels with a great sound of a trumpet, and they shall gather together, gather together his elect from the four winds from one end of heaven. To the other so the lord is coming back not only uh to bring destruction upon the wicked but he's going to save the, the righteous man with and he's going to use those those uh so-called ufos the chariots he's going to use the chariots of israel because it says he shall send his angels uh, like i just uh, went into the angels they travel in, in them chariots man them angels uh travel around in them chariots so whenever you see a so-called ufo that that's really uh uh, a vehicle of the angels those are the vehicles of the heavens man because uh just like esau just like this this, this damn devil has vehicles the heavenly father has his own vehicles man and and, and they're they're there's on, on such a high level you devils can't comprehend the chariots man you can't even begin to comprehend the chariots the power of the chariots man so uh yeah that's pretty much the point of this video i want to end this off by saying call halalim la yahawu Bye, Bashir, and Papa Gosh. Double honor to the elder apostles, Greg Lewis, Shalom.